And I'm Aaron. And you're watching show 28 of FTV. Hey Nights, my New Year's resolution is Zumba. Alright, hi guys, come out and support Avid this Saturday, January 9th. It's gonna be from 9 to 10, and all profits go to Avid. It's $5 for admission. It's gonna be lit. <laughs> I don't always work out, but when I do, I Zumba. Come to Zumba and support Avid this Saturday. Stay fit, my friends. For Zumba, we'll be there 9 o'clock. Come Zumba with us. Go pack, go pack, go pack. Have you been living under a rock? Are you ready for this upcoming 2016 election? Photographer Eileen Harrison and reporter Cameron McBride give you an inside look on what students and teachers think about this election. Much like the weather today, the upcoming 2016 presidential election looks quite stormy. Here's a quick overview of what's to come. In election years are always important. Uh, this one more so because we're electing the president of the United States. We're electing somebody to lead us forward, lead us in the new world against other countries, and um, be the leader of the free world. So it's it's a huge election this year. The front runners for this year include the Democratic candidates Bernie Sanders and Hillary Clinton, as well as the Republican candidates Donald Trump, Marco Rubio, and Ted Cruz. How, uh, they're going to deal with foreign policies uh, across the seas, especially with uh, the new terrorist group uh, ISIS popping up in the Middle East and conducting more attacks worldwide. And then there's also domestic issues at home such as gun control. I think that the candidate this year that everyone should look out for and vote for is Bernie Sanders. He's like one of the few honest politicians today and like he really focuses on the issues and doesn't get involved in political squabbles. Donald Trump, you know, he's, he's up there in the polls. He's kind of crazy but the media likes him so we see him a lot. Students need to be informed because the decisions they make in this election are going to affect the rest of their lives. Uh, the next president is probably going to be appointing at least two Supreme Court justices, uh, and that's somebody who's going to be on the court affecting the decisions that these students have to live by for the next 30 or 40 years. If you want to be informed, make sure to tune in to the Republican debate on January 14th, the Democratic debate on January 19th, and look out for the results of the Iowa caucus on February 1st. With the League of Legends, season right around the corner, we asked students for their predictions about the upcoming season. I'm probably going to play a lot of Azir just because he's really fun. I'm not that good at him, but I like him. Oh boy. He's pretty strong though. What's he gonna do? Oh! Oh, oh he, he got, got two! two. He's Phoenix. gonna get a triple kill! A quadra kill! An amazing Whoa. play by Phoenix on his ear! I'm gonna be playing a lot of Zed because uh, he has a lot of potential. Do you have just Faker nightmares? You wake up in a cold sweat, you're like, Faker's behind me. I know, right? I'm like, even though I only have a mat on the floor, I think he's in the bed. Oh, Faker may be in trouble here, Death Mark tries to clean it up for Ryu. Oh, look at the cleanse, look at the moves! Faker, what was that? Well, I'm going to be maining uh, Jax because all the masteries and new items made him broken. Spartan's going to switch up his lanes. Right now. Oh, it's going to be too many people for Zion to handle, though. Let's see how he does it. I think he can still get one out of this. Like, Smithy needs to be very careful. Got Zion's a big boy. There's one. This could be easily oh, two God. and three how for Zion get? Spartan. He goes back for the box. That's two. Soon is in the wrong spot. This could be three. Woo. Not enough. I think that XDG is going to win this world. <laughs> Because XDG has the greatest name. Uh, I want Renegade. Yeah. Uh, could probably gonna be TSM. New roster. It's gonna be insane. I'm Gunnar Frost of Sports. Congratulations to girls basketball beating Chino Hills 57 to 42. And congratulations to Sydney Sharp for scoring 31 points. Also, congratulations to girls water polo 17 to 1 against El Dorado. Grace Peavy House and Danny Ayala scoring four goals each. Congratulations. Hey Knights, I am Nikki McClellan here reporting with Lana Gorlinski that recently she just got accepted into Harvard and hopefully we'll play water polo there. So obviously you apply to other colleges, um, what made you want to go to Harvard? 
So I actually had the opportunity to visit a lot of schools on the East Coast over last spring break, and Harvard was just the one where I saw myself there the most. Like, I really liked the students and the academic opportunities, the resources, and I thought the campus was beautiful, and it just was the one that seemed the best fit for me. So how does Harvard compare to the other colleges you looked at? Well, honestly, every school I toured was amazing in its own way, but the thing that really drew me to Harvard was from the students I talked to, it seems like Everybody seemed so passionate about what they were doing, and it really came off that they really loved their school and loved their academics, their extracurriculars, their social life. It just seemed like everybody was so passionate. So what are you planning to major in? Well, this is something I get asked a lot, and I'm really not sure. I really look forward to exploring a lot of different things. I'm looking at maybe like economics or mathematics. I'll really have to see when I get there. Now here's an update on what to expect from the Tech Club. Hi, so we're Tech Club and um, we're pretty much here located at um, the library, the front desk. When you come in, we're just available. You can see us at the front. And so we are available Monday through Friday, break and lunch, and then Tuesdays and Thursdays at tutorial. And what we do is we help by helping students and, and faculty by fixing their computers and see anything we're up. Like, in a way, we're like that, a genius bar, like in that. And that wraps it up for today, guys. I'm Aaron. And I'm Taryn. And you're watching FTV. Stay, Stay dry, dry for hell. hell.